Hi guys, I'm Raval. Welcome to my new series called Testing a Journey to TDD. Today we are going to be discussing the Gherkin language and specifically the Gherkin language for user stories. So, in this video we're going to be talking about what is the Gherkin language, why we should use the Gherkin language, how to write user stories with Gherkin, and we're going to discuss an example. So what is the Gherkin language? Gherkin is a plain text language which has a little extra structure to it. It allows you to describe software's behavior without detailing how the behavior will be implemented. It acts as documentation and is the skeleton of your automated tests. So why use the Gherkin language? Gherkin is simple enough to understand for non-programmers, yet it is complex enough for programmers to use as a very solid base to start writing our tests. It makes our user stories easier to digest as well. Writing user stories with Gherkin. Just in case you didn't know, all user stories are are just descriptions of tasks. So back to Gherkin. Gherkin is actually intended to be read by software tools like Cucumber, but all we are doing is using the syntax to aid us write our user stories. We won't be writing actual Gherkin files here, just using the syntax for our user stories. So here is the Gherkin syntax, and these are the keywords that we are going to be using. So they're all really self-explanatory, very simple. The best way to understand how to use them is just to go through multiple examples. It's very easy, but what you have to go through quite a few examples to get it in your head. So let's take a look at an example. And in this example, we are going to be looking at authentication. So let's write a story using our Gherkin syntax we will describe the authentication feature of a website. In more detail, the example syntax will describe a user using the login form on a login page to log in. So very simple. So let's take a look. So here's the Gherkin syntax, and um, we'll start off by using feature. Just if you have to take a look at this, you'll notice there's three sections, there's feature, background and scenario. You don't always have to include background, but in lots of cases you will be. So let's take a look at feature. So feature is user authentication. So that's simple. It's just a user login process. The background, given the user is already registered to the website. Scenario, given the user is on the login page, when the user inputs the correct email address, and the user inputs the correct password and the user clicks the login button, then the user should be authenticated and the user should be redirected to their dashboard and the user should be presented with a success message. Now guys, I know that's a whole lot of information thrown at you, but let's just break this down. So like I said, there's three sections here, feature, background, and scenario. The feature usually describes like it's like a title for what you are doing. The background gives us some background information, so stuff that's already there, and the scenario is describing what exactly is going to happen. So the way we are describing this is we are saying, okay, given the user's on the login page, great, so he's on the login page, he's going to insert the correct uh, data, log in, and he should be redirected to the dashboard. That's all the scenario is saying. Now, looking at this, this may not exactly be real world, but what it's doing is it's a very simple, simple scenario. So now this uh, user story can be understood very easily by someone who is not a programmer, but someone who is can also interpret this very easily. He understands exactly what uh, the project manager wants, and he can write his automated test based off this. So this is the success scenario and he can write 
his success test using these simple steps. So I hope this really clears it up for you. Just Google for a few more examples and really go through a couple to get it in your head. Um, I promise you this will help you out when writing your user stories or writing your descriptions for your tasks. It makes it easier for the non-programmer and the programmer. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you really like this video and I hope that uh, this new series is exciting for you. I'm really excited for it. Uh, please remember to like this video and subscribe below. Thanks for watching guys.